Hi everyone, I hope you're all having a great week. In case you're not very familiar with my channel, I usually have a very intuitive painting process. And so that means I don't typically start off with a plan. I might, like in this case, start off with a color palette and then as I go along, make my decisions. So what I can tell you at this point is that this week's project will have a watercolor background and then eventually I'll move on to creating the rest of my artwork using different mixed media tools. I want to address something that's been brought to my attention on a couple of occasions now, but before I do so, I want to start first with gratitude. Gratitude's an extremely important practice in my life, and I feel as though it's been a little while since I've really taken the time to say thank you to you all for making the time to sit with me every week to watch my videos and to comment and connect with me. It really is so meaningful to me and that's probably one of the reasons that I keep doing what I do. The fact that I can connect with you and read your comments every week. It almost feels like I know you in some way. I know that you know none of us have ever really met but to have a chance to giggle with you, to share ideas with you, to just connect on a creative level is so meaningful to me. And my channel has grown tremendously over the last year and it really wouldn't have been possible without your help. And so I want to say a great big thank you for continuing to support me, for continuing to encourage me and to connect with me. It really does mean a lot to me and I want you to know how much I appreciate it. On two different occasions now, 
It's been mentioned to me in a comment that some people might prefer my videos if I just let my process speak for itself. Play gentle music in the background and not speak. I've had to take some time to sit with this to process it for myself, to see if it makes sense for me and for what I hope to accomplish with my channel, and also to see what would work best for the majority of my viewers. While I know it's not possible for me to please everyone all the time, my creative practice is one that is very centered on mindfulness, and so it's not lost on me that offering you all more quote-unquote quiet might in fact help in this way. Ultimately, the vision I have for my channel is that it be a place where people can learn to use creativity as a mindful and possibly even therapeutic practice. While for many people with experience in creativity, this may be more easily achieved, I also know that frustration in the form of inner criticism can be a great challenge, especially for beginner artists. With this in mind, I wonder how helpful videos where I don't speak at all would be. Maybe it's about achieving a balance of some kind, and maybe I want to be more deliberate and mindful of the things I choose to share. As I mentioned earlier, a big part of what keeps me going on my YouTube journey is having the ability to connect with you all. And at this point, I'm not yet really sure how I can continue to do this if I don't speak in my videos. And at the same time, I'm willing to explore this idea more, if it could be helpful to you and to me.
It took me quite some time to find my voice and to develop the courage not only to share my creative process so publicly, but also to share my voice more openly. For that reason, and also because I believe some people do actually prefer it when I speak in my videos, I'm not ready to say I'm going to adopt a completely new way of creating my videos. Maybe not so coincidentally, this is the year I chose the word silence as my word for the year. And so I'll keep contemplating the question, to speak or not to speak. At the end of the day, my voice is part of my presence in this world. And so the real decision needs to come from me. And at the same time, I want you to know that constructive feedback is always welcome.
and there we have it my process is now complete as I'm taking the tape off my paper I've noticed that some of the paint has seeped through so I'm just using an old brush and some water along with a clean piece of paper towel to dab some of that paint off it's not absolutely necessary for me to do that some people have remarked that it might actually add to the whimsy of the piece but I for whatever reason prefer to have clean edges <laughs> so I try to clean them up whenever I can and sometimes the paint is a little bit harder than other times to remove but usually it works quite well and when I'm done if I want to cover whatever little remnants of paint are still left on the paper I can use a bit of watered down gesso to go over the area and that will clean it up even more I've decided to call this piece Way Out There because it reminds me of planets dancing in the universe. For whatever reason, my pictures always seem to come out darker than the actual painting looks in my studio. Um, but hopefully by moving in a little bit closer you can view some of the details that I really love in the painting and have an idea of what it would look like in person. Thank you again so much for making the time to join me on this journey. I hope you have a wonderful week and happy creating!